I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the March 2021 USSAT non-calculator section. College Board gives the equation of cubic in factored form and asks which of these is not a possible y value for an x value between negative 1 and positive 1. If I sketch the graph of this cubic, I know it has zeros at negative 1 and at negative 2. because x plus 1 and x plus 2 are factors, so negative 1 and negative 2 are zeros, and at positive 1, because x minus 1 is a factor. We also, if we FOIL this out, see that this cubic has a positive leading coefficient, so the shape of the graph must be something like this. For x values between negative 1 and 1, including negative 1 and 1, the y value, b here is the y value, can be 0 at negative 1 or 1, and otherwise the y value must be negative. So the value that is not a possible value just based on the sketch is choice d. The y value for an x between negative 1 and positive 1 cannot be a positive number, positive 1. We could algebraically check whether we can actually reach negative 2, and since 0 is midway between, we can check that. Negative 1 times 1 times 2 is negative 2, so we in fact do reach negative 2, and since we also reach 0, we must pass through each number between, so we do reach negative 1. So we can analytically verify that we take on the values in choices A, B, and C of negative 2, negative 1, and 0. But we know from the graphical sketch that we never take on a positive value in that interval. College Board often asks you questions that are based on the factors of a polynomial give you the zeros, or the zeros give you the factors, and based on analyzing sketches in this manner. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.